footy is back. At least it is after round 14. G'day, I'm Simon Minton Connell. Yes. Wow. Wait, no, I'm not. I can actually kick straight, as I proved the other night at Auskick. <laughs> Bloody good. Tell you what, I'm actually James Clements. I do appreciate that here on the AFL Today Show, we have another host here by the name of one Alex Donnelly. He's a Swans fan. Simon Minton Connell played for both of our teams. Yeah. yeah. Would and did right. kick nine goals one time for the Swans. Oh. I think for the Blues, he kicked at least eight in one game as yeah. well. And to my point, was always like, oh, he's a weapon. We need to play him each week. And then he'd always get yeah. hurt. Yeah. He'd also then go and kick seven points. Anyway, <laughs> uh, that is Alex Donnelly over there in the Swans top, the best team we've ever seen play football. That's really good, yeah. Simon Minton Connell played 112 games, also played for Hawthorne and the Western Bulldogs. How many goals? Uh, kicked, uh, says here, 305 That's goals. That's pretty Not good. Bad. Yeah, that's a lot. In the middle here, the jam in this sandwich. Oh. <laughs> it's the stats boy. The oh, sad boy. Oh, sad. No, it was it was a roller coaster of emotions day, Jim. Not good at so, all from being a North fan. Great like, for a first half. It's not so much a roller coaster as like one of those ones that Dreamworld just goes really, really high and then just drops you into oblivion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, well, that, that's pretty much what it was, yeah. What so it's not yeah, really those, a roller coaster. One of those ones, the uh, giant drop. That's what it yeah. felt like. Roller yeah. coasters have ups and downs. You had a lot of up, <laughs> yeah. up, 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 up. And then down. straight down. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was a very, very quick down. Why is that? It's because he supports the North Melbourne <sighs> Kangaroos. At least we got close for once. As we call them, the Clarko Roos. Yes. Uh, either way, they are a pair of local weirdos slash full-blown <laughs> footy nuffs. AKA Dingai, AKA AFL experts. And this is the AFL Today Show. We are here to wrap up a classic round 14. And I am wearing a rock dog scarf. You know why that is in the Community Cup today? One of the greatest, greatest vibes in all of sport. You may need to explain to people not from Melbourne what the Community Cup is. So the Community Cup, the thing is, they actually did expand it into uh, other states uh, for RecLink, which is part of like supporting musos who have retired and stuff like that, or at least supporting them with health insurance and stuff like that. So it's a very important cause and it's a very good cause. Uh, And it has, especially in Melbourne, the Rock Dogs, a bunch of people who play in bands, et cetera, or band adjacent. Uh, And then for the megahertz, it's... The likes, the media likes that I used to be. Yes. Uh, the Triple R, the PBS megahertz, so they're the community radio types. It's not a great standard of football, but that doesn't <laughs> it's good matter. Fun. It doesn't it's matter. It's the best part. Is, today, is there a ringer? Like, there's some dude who like pushes buttons like once a year, and he's a jet. <laughs> That would be taking it too seriously. I okay. Think. Even that would be serious. Like having Nfa from Twelve Hundred Techniques almost felt like a cheat code. Okay, he was quite okay. literally a rock star. So. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this is the AFL Today Show. We talk all things footy here. That's what we do. You can also check out our YouTube channel. It's uh, Chockers with good stuff, and so are the social channels. Follow AFL Today across all the socials. It's very fun. But the best part is footy is back after round fourteen. <laughs> Weird round two, gentlemen. Yeah, so weird. The quick Fun look. Round. The quick look. We had the Dusty 300, which is massive. My highlight from that game was that they had a Dusty mascot. <laughs> I saw you post that, actually. Not the people cutting dust, getting Dusty haircuts in the ground. Just yeah. a Dusty mascot on the ground. Yeah, with I'm the like, other mascots, yeah. Why do the Blues not have a Sticks Kernahan mascot? <laughs> just like a mascot with a sick mullet. A this would Cripps be one? awesome. A, a Bruce Dool mascot. Oh. Why not just have a like all-time team? Of mascots. That would be sick. Why just Dusty? And why just Reese 300? Why is this not every week? <laughs> it's like, oh, it's Big Dusty. That puts the fear of God into the opposition. Like, we're going to play against Dusty, but also Big Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> Big Dusty of football. That Ooh. would be sick. Anyway, Ooh. I'm a little bit aggrieved. It looked like Dusty done. from, uh, what is it? NBA Jam. The yeah. big, head, yeah. big head mode. Yeah, when you go big, big head mode, mode yeah, you've yeah. got three. Yeah, He's that. on fire. He's on fire. Bullshit, I like it. <laughs> Away we go. Either way, quick look, Dusty, 300. The big question after that was, uh, well, prior to that was, oh, is this going to be his last game? Is he going to retire? He like Basically, the reports were, He's not going to retire. Then he gave a speech at the end of the game. He was like, wait a minute. That felt like a good bye. Is no, he going to retire? He literally <laughs> said, oh, I'll be good after the bye. That was his exact Yeah, words. no, no. He said, we'll go to the bye, see and how I, we are. Yeah. And he was doing these ones, pulling the thing, and then going around. It, it, it felt like a good bye. It was the most he's ever interacted with the crowd and the media a little bit. Yeah. So, so if Dusty cool. does retire after the 300, can you fault him? No. Uh, I think you should see out the year. I think you're you're a part of a team. You can't just quit mid-year when no. you're still a good player. They're, like that would be I would be a bit annoyed if I if it's a player. When they have injuries, I think you have to play the rest of the year. They're two and twelve, Dusty. I know, but Dusty not being book. in the team could almost be looked at as a good thing because it's getting More someone else guys. a game. I know, but in but fairness, their their injury list is just humongous at the yeah, moment. That's what but I mean, yeah. 
He's had this... It does feel like a perfect goodbye. Your team's absolutely pathetic this year. You're not going to do any damage as far as the ladder is concerned. Walk off into the sunset after a perfect goodbye. <laughs> yeah. You still got whipped. Yeah. Should Tim Taranto retire after this? Oh, game as it, well? was good. Like, it was good. It was good. At the same yeah. time, you're going to be sitting there if you're Tim Taranto and Jacob Hopper and go, what did we get traded into? This sucks. This sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, come on, man. <laughs> it was 92,000. Talk about sold a uh, false bill of goods. Yeah. But it was a crazy game there. We'll talk about that in the game wraps. Outside of that, we have lots of bags of goals this week. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't mind a bag oh, yeah. of goals? <laughs> uh, they were very, very <laughs> fun and very gnarly. Yeah. Suva going absolutely ham. Higgins Marty got five. Going ham. Higgins absolutely uh, smashing someone it Someone else in that game got five. Danaher. Danaher. There were so many people just kicked five plus was, or four plus, yeah. It was actually brought up, I think, during the Amati party uh, on Saturday night. So I think it might have been Jonesy from the old Fox footy. The question is, you could go, which one? Jonesy, yeah. Brownie, Jonesy. Because <laughs> we don't have enough nicknames in yeah. footy at this point. Jonesy, what do you reckon? He, wait, is he talking to you? Or, <laughs> wait, which Jonesy? Well, I'm Brownie. Hang on a second, I'm Brownie. Wait, are you Brownie or Jonesy? <laughs> no one knows anymore. Either way, brought up the fact that it's like, yeah, this is like a, you know early 90s, mid Jason Dunstall, Gary Ablett, Sticks, yeah. Kernahan. Yeah, we haven't seen that pom- in a long time. Just yeah. everybody booting a bag. You're like, that's pretty good. Tony yeah. Modra, like, yeah. let's go. It was fun. John Longmore. More bags. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, also, I think we come out of this week. We'll talk about this later in the uh, best team of the round, but Sydney, the greatest team to play in the history of the <laughs> AFL. Oh, why are you saying that when Alex is here? There's going to be too much too much Sydney. There's too much Sydney Learn already. Learn how to win, stats guy, and you I, can talk. Right, I agree that you're the best team this year by an absolute mob, but the best team ever gets stuffed. That is horrible. <laughs> Good one. Uh, but really, Collingwood on Thank the absolute you. brink today mm, against the Ruse. Nope. Very fun. Yeah. Very cool. And I think this sort of speaks, so quick look. It speaks to the sheer parity of this season, doesn't it? So how, how literally anyone can beat anyone. Yeah. Like, it's quite literally it's any so given fun. Sunday, yeah, yeah. but not NFL. No. So I think this year we've sort of, especially, you know, me being a Carlton fan, I understand that anyone would beat us essentially at any point That's because we try year, our absolute yeah. hardest yeah. to lose every single game <laughs> and just put me through heart conniptions every time I get a chance. Yes. True. But you look at, especially with the, uh, the Bulldogs game, uh, you look at the way – that the Brisbane St Kilda, Brisbane St Kilda, like the way the St Kilda fought back after they were, yeah, dead everyone yeah. thought Brisbane were going to smash them. Amazing gross Port Adelaide GWS game that's just finishing. Yeah, exactly. So very gross, but awesome. Very a little close. bit of parity, and if you look at the ladder, which Ooh. we'll get to in a second, if you go from second all the way down, basically to like twelfth, there is essentially two games separating those yeah, teams. That so is awesome. It's pretty crazy. So that sets us very nicely up to do the round fourteen ladder check. Ooh. Check. Check, check. <laughs> at the top of the AFL ladder at the moment is a little team. Not many people go for them. They're called <laughs> the Sydney Swans. They're on 48 points. They have won 12 games and lost one. They're Alex Donnelly is there. sitting there with the biggest, dumbest grin on <laughs> his face. Head, bit of a head seat. bubble, yeah. yeah. <laughs> after they spotted a uh, pretty handy lead to Adelaide on the road and then went, that's ah, enough. We're going to win by 40 points. Yeah, I know. It was close. Yeah, anyway, we'll point turnaround. It was yeah. absolutely gnarly. No one's, no one's topping them on, on the ladder. My point being, ah, uh, Sydney, the best team we've ever seen. <laughs> Only team in the league to have conceded less than 1,000 points at the moment. Ooh. And how many have they kicked? Uh, 1353, I think they're the only team over 30. That uh, is the, yeah, the best, most, offense the most in the league. And defense. Best uh, offense and defense. So yeah. best offense and we've defense. Play, we've, played, we've kicked the most and we've played one game less than the Western Bulldogs who were second. I like this because you are basically the 2008 Geelong Cats and 2008 Hawthorne Hawks combined. Yeah, but <laughs> we're also good. potentially 2022 Geelong, 2023 Collingwood. Oh, this is making Combined me with the 2021 Demons. What, what was the year I said and went 20 and 1? 2000. 2000, yeah. yeah. 2000 <laughs> Bombers. Combined with 99, the 99, Blues. 99, yeah. 99, Who went 99, 20 and 2. 99 yeah. Blues. <laughs> the biggest thing is 12 and 1. You do have this point where you go, hang on a second, when do they lose again? Uh, Port Adelaide on August 3rd. Apparently they don't beat Port Adelaide. We're talking about that. Interesting. Yep. All right. It's going to ruin my... Rest of the ladder, though. Yeah, Carlton, we... a second. How good is that? Go to the oh, Blues. And you had the buy. There Still is nothing second, better, yeah. as I mentioned on the uh, Wednesday and Thursday shows last week, was that there is nothing better than winning a game. Winning. Winning a game the prior weekend. It's a massive rivalry game on a Sunday night in front of everybody. You win that quite convincingly, and then you get a week and a half Just off. Just yeah. This is great. Yep. Second on the ladder, untouchable, feeling pretty good. Third, Collingwood. 
Just. How just. is that? How, How is that even happened? That's it makes no sense. Stats boy, explain it. Oh, uh, well, they, they beat North. That's they, they've played a game they've more They've only than lost one of their last uh, nine or ten now, I'm pretty sure, as well, because they had a, had a draw But in they've played a, a game draws. more than teams that are yes. fourth all the way down. Yeah, yes. so that helps. So. They'll drop back down after next round, possibly around the bottom of the eight. So eight, four, and two with the two drawn games is still Crazy, very solid. Yeah. Essen in a fourth, eight, four, and one. Uh, they also had the bye this week, so no problems there. Port Adelaide Power about to just lost. or have just lost. Uh, Scrappy game. GWS are about to jump them. Nice one. So they go from that, eight and four to eight and five, I believe, yep, after that. And GWS go up to fifth. That is. Yeah, actually, we've got to swap a few yeah, teams they're on the line. Yeah. Switching out. So Live ladder really not helping out here. Yeah, Where is the AFL app does it way better. Usually you can get the live ladder on here, but it's not Quickly, working. to the live ladder. Do it. <laughs> to the AFL uh, get the Keep live talking, Jim. We also have, outside of that, so... With Essendon in fourth after their buy, yeah. you then have this morass. GWS in fifth at 114.2%. Oh, and then, the, so it's three teams that are on 32 points yeah. GWS, Geelong, Port Adelaide. Port Adelaide have just dropped three and a half percent, losing by 22 points. So that is, as I mentioned, the morass. Mm -hmm. It is a morass for the simple fact of you have GWS at 32, yeah. you've got Geelong at 32, you have Port at 32 in seventh. Yeah. You have Frio, who just copped an absolute belting. In eighth. How are they still in the eight? Yeah, what the hell? Well, draw. that's because the draw, help the draw, the draw yeah. helps them just True. sort of stick over the top of the Western yeah. seven and seven Bulldogs. <laughs> the most Western Bulldogs. <laughs> they're still eighth ever. or ninth. The Bulldogs eighth or ninth. What nine. are they? The line of the demarcation. Line of the, yes, they are. It's the Western Bulldogs. Mm -hmm. Outside of that, the Gold Coast Fraud Suns are 10th, 28. 28 points. Melbourne, 28 points. Amazingly mm. enough, after beating the Dusty Tigers, the Hawks. The Hawthorne Hawks. On 28 points Ooh. and 12th, which is pretty remarkable. So you have everybody from 9 through 12 on 28 points. And then awesome. Brisbane. Then you got Brisbane who are like looming on 26. They're looming, yeah. Because Everyone got the from draw. here down cannot make finals. Basically, 14th onwards. I yeah, agree, yeah. The finals, the finals line of demarcation is Brisbane at 13, yep. right? Now, because you have St Kilda at f uh, in 14. Mm -hmm. One less. They're on 20 points. Five That's and nine. Basically, they sound like a bad Brian Adams song. Went down to the five and nine. I was going to say it's a summer Got at 59. Got myself a bit of a Max King. <laughs> Jack Steele kind of sucks. And away we go, right? Like that's how St. Gilda roll. Adelaide are just trash. They're in 15th. Yeah, they're not moving. Uh, they had a moment against Sydney. We were like, are they good? They could oh, win, no, they're yeah. not good. There, they, there was, they there was the about the last 30 seconds. We'll get into it later. West Coast. In 16th on 12 points the, with their three wins, obviously also on a bye. Harley Red still has the next week off. So. And, oh, yeah, uh, he does. Richmond, there for a minute against the Hawks. What, the first goal? That's could it. <laughs> not then lift at all. And we'll talk about that in the game, Ravs. But, and then, unfortunately, languishing in 18th. It is your North Melbourne, Clarko, Look at Roo, that percent. We would, we would have gone above Richmond. And no, you wouldn't have. If you'd won by a point, you wouldn't have. Oh. You then completely nah. cooked that. So there is your <laughs> round 14 ladder. The story of which is extreme, extreme parity, I believe. But also, there's a story to be told of the buys. The round zero buys, we've had teams who yeah, have had two buys, buys before one team has had a buy and so on and so forth and has gotten very silly. It mercifully comes to an end after next week. Thank God. Once we get through next week, there are no more, no more buys. And we good. bring that's back good. overlap. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's cooked it. <laughs> I've got some arguments about that. I'm I was not really do it in, bored on Thursday. I'm not going to do that in uh, the vent sesh because to this week's vent sesh is vent sesh. Let's try that again. <laughs> vent sesh fraud watch. Fraud watch. There we go. Because my question to you is, a lot of parody teams. is all well and good, gentlemen. Yes. But who is actually good this year? Because We don't know. <laughs> There's one I've good talked team. about yeah. Sydney being rampant premiership favourites. Yeah. Is there a single team in this AFL season you can see beating the Sydney Swans team? My answer so far, very easily, is no. So if we're, we're playing the grand final tomorrow, do you oh, think anyone could beat Sydney if they play tomorrow? No the way. They could probably beat all 17 teams if you <laughs> played them one after the other. That's how good <laughs> they yeah, are. Yeah, the the other, they don't get a rest. Errol wouldn't get a rest. stop running. Yeah, 100%. Right. <laughs> Grundy wouldn't either. Yeah. Seriously, Carlton, look, there's like a fraud vibe about Carlton, but they're at least of a... Can't high enough quality second, yeah. second. where they can beat other teams that yeah. are around their level. Mm -hmm. It feels like Collingwood might have like a puncher's chance against Sydney. Essendon clearly don't because nah. we saw them get run over by the Swans. Port, unless they play them in Adelaide, no chance. Geelong, 
We saw them. Yeah. Absolutely smashed sure. them literally two weeks ago. Shambles. GWS. Smashed them. If em. they were absolutely at their best and they were completely They healthy, could be a top two side. You'd yeah. look at how good yeah. GWS could be and you'd still not tip them over Sydney. Nope. Yes. Western Bulldogs. No, no. hope. Freo. No hope. Wait, so we're pretty much saying here, Jim, anyone below the, the line of deca- demarcation for uh, the fraud watch is anyone below Collingwood. Is that what we're saying? Right I now? think. Because oh, I agree with that. I think once you get outside of like Carlton can beat anyone around their level. Collingwood Fraud can beat Collingwood everybody. Collingwood was a bit of a worry this Fraud week. Fraudwatch is literally 4th to 11th. Yeah, which is crazy, yeah. Because if you break it down, you look at Essendon, Port, Geelong, Frio, the Dogs, the Giants, the Suns, mm-hmm. Melbourne. Hawthorne, I don't want to tag as frauds because they're good and fun. Yeah, no, they've, they've been very consistent. And the there's going to be months, a point yeah. where this run comes to an end and it's like they were decent. They were 0-5, now yeah. they're 7-7. Seven and seven. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's awesome. yeah. They should be 8-6. and Will eight Day and six. rules. John Newcomb's out there kicking snags. Maybe They've top. still got Mitch Lewis to come back. Gosh, yeah, yeah. They're great. They're awesome. They're fun as. Lions can make a sneaky run, but we'll have to wait and but see. But they've been the biggest frauds this season. Yeah. So Actually, Fraud Watch, it basically sits there. Essendon, you can sort of easily go, they are the best team in the AFL. <laughs> we all understand that. <laughs> Ugh. Prove me wrong, Essendon. <laughs> Prove me wrong. They already have. <laughs> Just prove me wrong. That's all I ask, person. Like, prove that you're not the best team in the AFL. That's all I ask. <laughs> Port Adelaide. Today was a bit of proof that, that they go gross. to JDS, they sucked. Yeah, not good at Connor all. Connor Rosie comes back, didn't really help they, that much. They, they played a team that's somewhat around the top eight and they lost. Yep. They're like dropping Charlie Dixon. He's getting rubbed out in the Santa full and away we go. Stats guy could get as many kicks at the moment as Charlie Dixon. Oh, Zero. I, I, get more, no, I can get more than that. Geelong are yeah, losing yeah. games at GMHBA. They look a bit old and slow at times. Cool. Other times they look like world beaters, but at the same time they've also still lost four of their last five. Yep. Frio. Looking great. They absolutely oh. smoke the Melbourne Demons, then roll in feeling themselves after a bye and get killed. They got a bit cocky, I think. Hmm. The Western Bulldogs. They win, they lose, they, they win, win, they lose, they win, they lose, That's they win, they the dogs, lose. Yeah. Bevo punches a dude, they win, Massive they lose. Frauds. Away we go. GWS, as we mentioned, like if they can put something together. I knows, still think but, they oh. might have a similar run to last year. They put no. all their pieces together. They but have a good not, team. But it's not. You, we've just watched it's them different play. Last year, I know, yeah. They look so far but off. they're yeah. fifth. It's amazing. So they're like eight and five, and they're fifth on the ladder. Okay, so like, you're still like so close. Watch out, GWS. Yeah. But at the same time, you're like, are you afraid of GWS? They play not the yet. Swans next week. Ooh, that's they're a smashing. Get <laughs> no, that's a smashing. <laughs> that's uh, a bad Frio, one. we've already hit on Port, Geelong. It's literally outside of that, Gold Coast and Melbourne. Two teams where you're like, you can't trust Who Melbourne away flaunt. from home. No, Gold Coast away from or home. Or at home. Mm. Oh, sorry. Yeah. And then Gold Coast, if they go below the 28 degree latitude, yeah, they're, they're cooked. Yep. Yep. So, Fraud Watch is, is a lot of teams, yeah. And in charge of the ladder from four through 11. Yep. It's. That's not even mentioning Brisbane. I know, because Brisbane are too far down. They massive yeah. run home, yeah. but they're in 13th. But there. they've also got to keep winning and hope other teams that are around them lose, are losing, yeah. which, so, is which can happen the way this year's gone. Yep. So the rest of the Brisbane schedule as well, like we'll get... I'll get it. We had, no, we already had a look at that last episode. Yeah. Uh, what was it? We think they're going to win about... Well, they we, win we, 10 to 13 we had games. them losing the We had them losing the uh, the Western Bulldogs game two weeks. So we had them winning this. They go to Adelaide next week and play Port Adelaide. They probably lose that. They play the Demons. They probably at home, win. though. Yep. Feeling good. Then Adelaide at home themselves. Mm-hmm. They win so that. They should win both those. They go yep. to West Coast. Weird things happen in Perth. But they got they smashed be, by Freo. They should also still be too good for this West Coast team. Then the absolute... Uh, what could punch their season? This is it. it. It's Brisbane, Sydney. 21st of July. That Ooh, game is where's that? massive. Up there. That's up there. I'll be there. The Are oh, you going that one? Yep. Ooh. You've also there got Q Clash July 27. In the Gold Coast. Oh, that's Still a above huge the game. Degree latitude. That could be one of the biggest Q Clashes of all time. Then they come back down here to, for a Marvel game against the Saints. Clam, clam. GWS, Collingwood, a grand final rematch. Essendon in That's the That's the last way. game. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go to that uh, Brisbane club. Let's go. This is going to be awesome. Mm. I can't wait. So Brisbane, the thing is you can't really call them frauds because we don't know what they are yet. So right. At go. the moment, they're crap. They're just bad. At yeah. the moment, they just stink. Speaking yeah. of, Friday let's, night. Let's do some gay We should probably get into some gay Let's yeah, go. Yeah, Brisbane, 126 and Kilda 106. This was a really fun game. Was. Brisbane had this all over. Big Joey Danaher. Old Joey Duckett's out there smashing in goals, awesome. crushing it. And then it got squirrely. Mm-hmm. The Saints came flying back and then Brisbane just sort of held them at arm's length. 126-106. This was a strange one. It's nice to see Brisbane actually back and playing fun football. The weirdest part was then watching St Kilda 
play, play fun, weird yeah. and fun football. I thought we were in alternate no, universe. It was, I chucked gross. that up on the it was Twitter. Weird. I'm like, am I like how <laughs> many beers have I actually had? I know. Is it a lot? <laughs> yes, but at the same time, are my eyes deceiving me? Like that was basically where I was at. It's the first time I've been watching Saints probably since they were ma- were in the flag sort of era. When not the flag sort of era when they were in the uh, grand final things that they got because oh. they didn't win a flag. No, they Sorry. didn't win a flag. I take that back. But they looked awesome. Snags Higgins five goals. So was, Higgins was gets awesome. five. Joey Duckett gets five. Yeah, it was just a fun game. And it was just awesome. But is that the shootout of the two bad teams like we saw today? It was Marvel? weird that there was a shootout. The two top five defenses. I was like, oh, this is definitely going the under. You got to go the under. Yeah, like, fast track. And yeah, fast track. Fast track, baby. Skinny or something like that. Flat track bullies as <laughs> yeah. well. Those but it's also lines. so Friday night was only the second time in the history of Ross Lyon coaching St Kilda that they've kicked over hundred points and lost. Or well, sorry, crazy. history of Ross Lyon ever because they never kick hundred points. Since Ross Lyon started coaching St Kilda, it is their tenth highest losing score. Uh, sorry, it's their highest losing score, which goes. From 106 to 83. So that shows you they don't kick scores. No. That, that, and also lose. It was just an outlier, this, this game, a little bit. That is amazing. But more than anything, you sort of looked at the way the Brisbane were playing. You're like, just do this. Yeah. Well, just keep the doing The defense this. was horrible against the quick bowl movement, which is a, a bit worrying. Like, if they play like that against a lot a of other team. teams that are above St. Kilda, they're cooked. They're this cooked. also felt like they'd put the cue in the rack a little bit. Maybe. They're, just like, they're like, ah, we're going to be all right. We've absolutely smashed it. And then close, the though. Saints came flying back into it. Uh, but it was a really fun, like in terms of your potential Friday night football games, this is obviously good. not good. And then you're watching this game, like this is fun ass. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this more. Come on. But at the same time, I think I mentioned this on one of the shows last week. Brisbane and the St Kilda, that's a really fun jersey matchup. Yeah. And Two it also jerseys. screams out Friday night footy for some reason. It, just <laughs> like, it? it screams out nighttime footy. Okay. Like it could be the Gabriel oh, Saturday, the sun, it Friday night. It's, yeah. yeah. If it's daytime, you're like, this is horrible. <laughs> nighttime, nighttime, however. I think every gym, it. almost every kit looks better at night. <laughs> Enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, good stuff, Brisbane. Save their season. Yep. Saints cooked. How are the two fan bases feeling after this game? Brisbane Br- feeling up and about. Brisbane are probably like, all right, if we can get on a roll and play like yeah. this, we, we have a chance. It's, but then it's you're that, also thinking, are we back? We question defend. mark. Because yeah. their last three games, they're like the highest scoring team in the AFL. Mm. They've also had Hipwood kick a massive bag. Yeah. And then you've got Joey Duckett's turning around going, I'll do that as well. Check yeah. this out. And then Saints fans are probably going, why can't we score 100 points every week? If they scored, if they play like that against a lot of teams this year, they would have won. But their season's also over. That yeah. is officially and their, their done. Their season's done, I think, yeah. Ross Which is Lyon. weird. Like we're, we're like, oh, well done, St. Kilda this week, whereas last week, like, St. Kilda suck, and they'd won. Yeah. it's Because they only scored 51 points. Kilda like, gave a massive spray at quarter time. They yeah. came out and played a little bit tougher, a little bit faster, and, like, the spray. and eventually sort of got there. It's like, just give them a spray all the time, I guess. <laughs> Every or quarter. Or yeah. make sure they played better well, just all the he's time. He's given a spray on an Uber Eats ad. I don't know if you guys have seen that. No. Yeah, it's not bad. It's very, very weird. No free ads. Uh, <laughs> Saturday, Frio fell very, very short against a rampant oh Western Bulldogs team, 149 82. Did Bond just have his MJ flu game? I put that on, on Stats Twitter. Stats boy, I hated that you put that on, ta- on uh, Twitter. Because you secretly uh, liked it. No, because oh. did he do this in a finals game? Oh, I, oh okay. no, he did it. it was, did he do it in an M- Like, Did he do it in a grand final? Come no, on. then shush. That's a good reference. MJ's flu game I know comes is. against the toughest of toughest of moments in the biggest of spots. I know. It was a MJ a goes, laugh, I mate. don't care how many weird Utah Mormons have spat on this pizza. <laughs> I'm going to eat it. I don't care how sick I get. I'm still going to beat him. That's how much of an absolute legend MJ was. Bond goes, I feel a bit sick. And it's round 14. And he comes out and goes, I'm going to smash (laughs) the free man on Dockers. It was awesome. At Marvel on a Saturday afternoon in June. (laughs) Mate, it's not quite the same. (laughs) I'm just saying. I thought you would like that. That's really tricky. Uh, Jeez. Uh, uh, but Bob was bloody awesome. First half, game. he had like 80 super coach points at the halftime. He, he had about 10 scoring moments at halftime. He was just unbelievable. That goal, I know people will say, oh, it was just a little snap, but he took on four defenders. He, he had to take like, on the first one. Three yeah, yeah, guys on his back. I like, explained that you gave him the old yeah. one, two, skidoo to yeah, eight yeah. dudes. Yeah. It was incredible. He was, that's going to be up there for He actually goal. just yeah. coughed a lot. The, do- the free no, guys are like, oh, no, no. They've learned everything from their ex premier. Oh, God, he's coughing. We can't go near him. Oh, like, ah, bring back the wall. Oh, let him, don't let him in. <laughs> Freo were pl- practicing social distancing <laughs> defense. Against Bond because he's so, too quick. Yeah. It's like, ah. awesome. What was that douchebag's name, the ex premier? WA? I don't know. You oh, know. I know who you're talking about. Everyone remember. knows I'm talking about. <laughs> How good are politics? Uh, <laughs> the Bond goes for 30 touches and three goals. Just Unbelievable. absolutely absurd. Uh, You'd think that, you know, tagging Bont might be a good idea. But well, the Rory, I don't know if you can tag. The Bont. Rory lob bowl. Oh, God. 
And he, he was really well. terrible. Three no, goals. No, he yeah, played the really well. The one that he kicked off in the air yeah. was absolutely gnarly. He had 19 touches. It was up there he with his really best good. game. His career. He was coming up the ground onto the wing. He'd take a mark. He was even getting hands off. He was playing yeah, awesome. Yeah, no, it's because this is like Jake Stringer. He's working for a new contract. Yeah. It's revenge and also please trade me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, contract, g- contract year lob. But just started He's halfway through. Yeah, I was about to say. So. so we've gone from contract year Jake Stringer into contract year Will Hayward. <laughs> now we're into I need a third club, fourth club Rory Lobb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the dogs, fourth club Lobb. The dogs were in, inexorable, right? So you had Riley West kicking four, you had Cody Waitman kicking three, Ed Jamara was Fala got going as well. He kicked three. As I mentioned, Bont and Lobb both kicked three. Mm. This is why the dogs look really, really dangerous at times because when it clicks, it really clicks. The problem is, it clicks every two every weeks. Two. Well, the, one You're like, thing what are we doing here? Was when Libba went out, Ed Richards came into the midfield because I like, oh, we don't need we don't need another midfielder. They played together and they looked awesome together. Bevo's finally done something right. He's kept them yeah. both in the midfield. I think that's going to help him because that's the first time they've sort of clicked together, him and Libba. So that was awesome. It's like there's nothing more terrifying, I reckon, if you're an opposition fan than watching like Libba or Ed Richards tear it up. Like just so many clearances. Like just yeah. off the half, half forward flank and it's like here comes an inside 50. They're yeah. just going to put it to like 15 metres out Perfect. right in front. Yeah. And like Jamar is going to like somehow end up with a ball and snag it. And yeah. away they went. And then, yeah, Freo were in this for a while. They and were. They just and then it. they just sort of absolutely <laughs> ran over the top of them one by six like 11 goals, 67 points. That's absolutely absurd. So how are the two fan bases feeling after this? Freo, you're like, we're up and about. We so were, disappointed if we you're were, a Freo we fan. We basically beat Melbourne by 100 points. Then we went on a bye. What happened? They, they, they've they been so up and about because you're going, all right, we can possibly make top four. All the other teams around us are crumbling. And then they get absolutely smashed. Be Sam Sturt kicks three. Tracy he was kicks good. two. Luke Jackson played a really, yep. really good game. He had two as well. For me, it's like the fact that Jaya Miss goes one and two. Mm. He's uh, kicking. He, uh, John O'Brien was talking about it during the game. He keeps going way too close to the man of mark. He yeah. literally was the, one of the best kicks in the comp last year in terms of accuracy. Yeah, he's got the yips. And now he's got the yips. Yeah, it's not good. Meanwhile, very handsome Bailey Banfield kicked three as well. Very he's been handsome. great this year. He's also a lot of people. very handsome. And he's, yes. very well played, handsome. Bailey. Well yeah. played. Friend of the program. Some Freo person jumped into the mentions and was like, yes, thank God someone put <laughs> Bailey Banfield's on. You're you love welcome. him. He's extremely handsome. Yeah. Come on the show. Just be part of the cool dudes handsome club. Yep. Uh, <laughs> And then dogs with no stats, guys. Uh, <laughs> dogs fans, dogs fans are feeling like, can we just do this two weeks in yeah, a row? Yeah. That's all we like, want. We got smashed last week, but it's like we're one going into the box. Yeah, dogs, dogs fans are like, when we played our best, we are unbelievable. They we can win the flag. They're, they're good is good. They're bad is bad. It sticks. Dusty's three hundredth. Oh. I was at this game, ninety-seven to forty-nine. This was a stinker of a game. It was, but it was a cool crowd. The, Man, hype the first awesome. goal was great. The hype was awesome. Dusty kicks the first goal. First goal. That was scripted. From 50. <laughs> that was but absolutely scripted. Wow, outside of that, the Richmond suck. Yep. Hawthorne were harder at the ball, quicker at the ball, had more space, used yeah, it Hawthorne better. Are good. Richmond, you're like, yo, there shouldn't be this much of a gap between these two teams. Probably not, yeah. Uh, I get to nail name drop, right? So <laughs> yeah, in the, I know. Head I don't in the box we had <laughs> Dyson Daniels. So Very he's jealous. a Tiger, Tigers fan. Oh, he and sucks. he was like feeling, he's like, this is... Like the start of it, like the pace of the game, I felt like suited the Tigers a little bit. They're just like, all right, cool. We're feeling ourselves. We're getting a vibe. All right, we've kicked the first goal. Dusty's up and about. We've I got 90,000 yeah. people here supporting this. It's going to be awesome. Oh, watch this. And we cook it in the second half, yeah. And they absolutely rolled over, which is not something you really expect from a Tigers team that has the likes of Tom Lynch playing in it. He did nothing on one leg. I called it. He, he, did, he was not ready to be Dusty playing. Dusty did very little. You barely saw Shy Bolton. Yeah. Shy Bolton, the m- biggest myth in football. Oh, he's it was a weird one. Because like, you're just like, he's hey, yeah. do, do more. And he's like, nah, if I'm I don't good. get to show you the ball as I'm running in as a front runner and kicking a goal. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. So he's the David Warner of football. Well, David Warner's had a very, very, <laughs> very, very, very successful, successful career. Successful career. Yeah, he's, yeah. Won so three, he's won three flags. Bolton, sure. yeah, but yeah. He, downhill scare? <laughs> what do you mean downhill scare? Oh, maybe, yeah. No, nah, Warner's had a much better career overall. Like what, what's David Warner's record over in England in the Ashes? When the going know. gets tough. That's what cricket today. I'll tell you on the cricket 15 today. touches, one goal, one for Shea Bolton, and you yeah. felt like you barely, barely saw it. Exactly. But really, a lot of this for me is like the veteran core of like that Tigers team just they're, rolled over, they're, showed their they're belly, done. they're cooked. So. And then the Hawks young core. Hawks young Will core. Day was Flip just side. dancing around Dusty. You got Weddle. Yeah, the strength and locks. the hips just to oh, shrug tackles. Weddle, 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 Weddle. They're, they're young guys are awesome to watch. Nick Watson? Oh, I can't. St- I'm going to talk about him later, yeah. You need to learn how to kick football. <laughs> yeah. He, you're, a prof- he, you're a professional footballer. <laughs> he annoys me so much. Who's acting like a smart ass. Yeah. He's also played like seven I don't senior care. games. Like seven He's very games. Exactly. confident You're a professional a footballer <laughs> with the nickname of the wizard. Yeah. How about- It's you- not his nickname if we don't use it, you see. 
you know. All right. Nick can't kick the football. <laughs> Nick can't kick. Simple as that. Nick yeah. can't kick. Nick can't kick. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's hey, nice. that. Stop doing this hooky around the corner crap. Prove us wrong, wizard. <laughs> Prove us wrong. <laughs> but seriously, the Hawks weird. are really, really, really good. Yes. Yeah. At times. They've been awesome. About, like like Sicily saw- had a game where he's just like, I'm going to be the best player ever. That's yeah, why yeah. they're not in fraud watch. They've been the arguably the Sicily most consistent had side. Sicily 180 metres gain. So mm. since Alex and I saw them play Sydney where they got <sighs> smashed. Oh. The Hawks have been bad. awesome literally since yeah, they've lost moment. once. So it's we really, actually, really fun. North got them back into form, I realised, <laughs> they, when they smashed us. No, the Swans did. Swans but the Tigers, it's like, yeah, bullet, take them out behind the woodshed and pack her up, boys. You know, <laughs> like, just go to Bali for the rest of the season. Oh, Hammy, yeah. Tigers. Actually, yeah, Dustin surely just wants to go to Bali. <laughs> Hamstring awareness. Hamstring Are you saying that about their fan bases? That's what they should feel. They should just go to Bali, their fan base. Just turn up to MCG games and who cares about the rest. Okay. I love Tigers fans because I feel like... They turned up for once. And they stayed. Being a Carlton fan... Like, I sort of look around to the other fans and you're like, yeah, cool. It's, it's a very sort of diverse fan base. Tigers Isn't fans, it? I look at them and go, hang on, that's not a mirror. I don't go for the Tigers. Lots of tats and it's lots a lot of, of dudes. Lot of who look like, a lot here. of dusty haircuts, dudes with giant beards like me, <laughs> maybe you a lot be of a, tats like maybe me. You and I'm like, wait a minute, on. did I miss a trick somewhere? <laughs> I think I might have. We would have had three flags in the last 20 years if I'd been a Tiger support. Oh, can you imagine Jim with the dusty hair coming oh, just the moment? Let's do it. <laughs> and the sleeve. Oh, you can't what? win the flag. Oh, here we go. You can't win the flag. I'm getting a dusty haircut. Oh, <laughs> well, no, Crips has a similar haircut. Nah, yeah. Dusty. He's going to go no, the it's Dusty. A, it's a Cripper tribute. We'll just pass it off. It's fine. <laughs> hey, he said that on the show. Yeah, he did. That is legally binding. Legally binding. That's legally a contract. Binding. It is a contract. How many beers? On the dusty yeah, haircut. I don't know. I don't know if you want to do that. Good old Recklink. I've had a, I've had a fun day at the uh, community camp. Anyway, <laughs> Hawthorne for real, Richmond suck. Uh, Two fan bases, Hawthorne fan base feeling finals, finals. awesome. They, can, make the they final. can believe now. Yep, I agree. Uh, the Tigers fan base are literally going, we all look like Jim. How uh, good's Dusty though? How good was that goal? It was great for them to <laughs> that celebrate that day, enjoy that. Stayed after. Play, uh, yeah. Everybody yeah. hanging out, cheering him off. Good fun. Uh, and it was the, uh, it we was didn't talk about the crowd, it was the, what is it, the second biggest Richmond crowd ever. It, sorry. Second biggest home, home away, away crowd. crowd. It passed one of the qualifying finals that Hawthorne and Richmond played. Yep. Unbelievable. One of the biggest crowds of all time. Does it Dusty was... get like a, a percentage of the gate? Or like, <laughs> what? Because if, he it let them all in. if it wasn't Dusty, they would have like 40, it would have been like 45, 50. Yeah, to be honest, he should have held them over a barrel about that. So yeah. I'll play my 300th in Adelaide. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> Give me 5%. Yeah, come on, 5% of the gate. Let's just say, I'm just saying. They, I'll play it at the MCG yeah. and away we go. Yeah. Everybody wets their beak. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Tigers fans are just going to be happy with Dusty 300th and get to getting to relive those incredible memories because, like, when they ran out on the ground, it was loud. extremely yeah. loud. They showed the 300 banner to every corner of the uh, of the entire place. When they came out, they had the mascot, which again, <laughs> the, dusty mascot. Said, the dusty mascot. <laughs> I'm so all weird. about it. Let's go. <laughs> I want mascots for all these legends. And it, basically, if you play 300 games, you, I, should, get a mascot. you should get a mascot. Okay. I actually don't mind. We this. need a Brent Harvey mascot. Craig Bradley, North, give me a cool. Craig Bra- Bradley Harvey. mascot. I will be the Craig Bradley mascot. <laughs> Let's do it. Get it made. Where's Jimmy? He's supposed to be on a show. Oh, it's like, yeah, being a mascot. playing on Sunday night. I was like, too bad. Lads, I can't make it. <laughs> Imagine Jimmy <laughs> walking in here with him. Scott, oh, mascot. Craig Bradley. <laughs> Love that. Saturday night. Du, 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 du. I feel it's going to do this Saturday night. Saturday, Saturday night. night. I don't know what you're doing there. But, but we're going to Adelaide because the <laughs> Crows packed her up halfway through the third quarter. Yeah. What the hell happened here? Because was this not like 60 to something and then they, they scored seven 20, points the rest of it? They were 23 points in front. At in one how point. long? Uh, like four with about minutes to go. six minutes to go in the third quarter. That is unbelievable. 109-67. <laughs> St. Kilda, I oh, was not St. Kilda, St. Sydney Swans just absolutely ran right over the top of the Adelaide Crom. Yeah. Uh, to a horrifying degree where you're like, uh, at some point you're going to be like, I want to call the cops and report a murder. <laughs> yes. You're like, hello, police. <laughs> I wanna, I'm watching the TV and someone's getting killed. It's Adelaide. And the police will be like, no, Jim, good. stop calling. This, <laughs> yeah. this is getting weird. Yeah, when Saligo kicked that goal, there, I think it got to 23 points. Yeah, and I, so, I, at yeah. that stage I thought Adelaide were going to win. Yeah. So 16 was- minutes into their third quarter, Saligo kicks the goal. Uh, from there, the worm does these ones. Yeah, yeah. So, unbelievable. I got I got a little bit concerned at that point, to be honest, because the Swans weren't playing two. great. The they ended up being forty two points. Joel Amati, nine goals. Yeah, the Amati party. We, 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 I reckon, we were some of the original Amati party guys back to the COVID we were, daily think, days. Yeah, yeah, we were always on board with the Amati party. The party. Yeah. and then he's come out and kicked. No, we've said he's a great first half goal kicker. Four goals in the first half. He went. 
Well, his career high, high was four goals. Now he's, he's got like, nine. Got another trick. You can kick nine. Yeah. <laughs> kick nine goals, one. He kicked ten. Ten kicks, nine goals, one. Most that is unbelievable. Was subbed off. Well, was it subbed? Had his rotation. Set, rotated off. Sat on the Keep him on. He's on. Get yeah. the double, double digits. I'll talk about that in a later, but juice. But this was a pretty tight game. Like Adelaide they did well. throw everything yeah. at Sydney. They had a pretty good game plan that they were executing to try and slow down mm-hmm. the Swans' run. But there was a point where the de- where there was just two quick goals from the Swans, and then I was like, ah, right, damn well, open, game over. Mm-hmm. It was like uh, out the back, goal to Amadi, then Heaney kicked a goal at... How someone let Isaac Heaney run, like, there's, there's a tape on Twitter for, like, 60 metres. He just just jogs yeah. into the forward 15. Pat was like... By himself. And By Pat himself. was like, like he's still fresh. Oh, I better oh, kick it to him now. He's still player. free. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. And then ball came out the, again, goal. And then that stupid Taylor Adams free kick, like stupid by Mitch Hinge. Like there was a free kick earlier in the Costly, night where yeah. Warner kicked a goal and sort of shoved uh, whoever the Adelaide guy was. And I didn't think that was a free kick, but the Mitch Hinge one definitely was because he blindsided him and absolutely whopped Taylor Adams. Someone's <laughs> like, oh, but he was taunting him. I was like, yes. Don't hit someone. Yeah. You? Pretty to be honest, <laughs> do it. That's, yeah. I don't think it should have been a free. Well, I, I didn't you should see have it. I didn't, Taylor Taylor I didn't see it, actually. Well, bang! Yeah. Like, he had it coming. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, Brody Grundy. I feel like I should have. The hat, he had it coming clause, like, yeah. into their free. Like, to be honest, you had that coming. Can you use that in, in the tribunal or court? Can you use that in court? Just had it coming. I'm pretty sure that's illegally. <laughs> like, you're being a tool, so, yeah. so like, yeah, you deserve <laughs> you just it. Had it coming, you got one. You get one shot. I like this. <laughs> every game, one shot. Jim's like, no, if you're acting well, this, like a tool This bag. goes back to my, yeah, like, I mean. every player should be able to fight one fan <laughs> each year. Yeah. And, like, you had it coming. It's the you had it coming the, clause. The, yeah, I like it. So, Prove me wrong. Yeah. Uh, Errol Goulden is like, hey, you know how Isaac Heaney and Chad Warner are going to win the brown line? I'm probably going to try and do it this <laughs> Watch year. Watch me get three votes Well, they're every all going to each other's vote. None of them are winning the brown line, I've decided, because they're, they're all just still in votes. It doesn't time. help when Heaney's a mile yeah. in front at the moment. Yeah. And th- there's every chance, because he's got the reputation now, that he sneaks a vote there. But I thought Brody Grundy was the best on ground. I know Marty's kicked nine, yeah. but 31 possessions as a ruckman, 24 contested, and 49 hitouts. It was just like, hey, hey, remember me? Melbourne, Collingwood, hi, me. Gonna, gonna this win this, this comes back to Matthew Nix dropping uh, Riley O'Brien last week. He, uh, Strawny, not even Strawny got back in. torn up by Nan Curvis, like smashed. Then you go, oh yeah, we're going to play against probably the best Ruckman or second best Ruckman in the league. Let's put the young guy against Brody Grundy. What is he it doing? Was, Pick Riley O'Brien is a really good Ruckman. He's yeah. not that great around the ground. But, but he's, he's, he's going to be much better and he would have... Grundy would have got a lot less hit outs. Brody Grundy just was, was like, amazing, this yeah. is awesome. Um, yeah. And then you look at sort of like, we talked about Adelaide in the meters gained all year. Like Rory Laird had 34 touches, but a bunch of clangers and only like 300 meters gained. Yeah. You look at the Swans, four of the top five players on the ground had more than five, 400 meters uh, gained. Yeah, nice. And Mitch Hinge was the other one. Um, Dawson got tagged. Rankin showed a bit first game back, kicked that awesome goal from the clearance. Yep. That was sick. Like, yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention the awesome Tim Taranto goal in the Richmond. Yeah, oh, the, the, up, the reverse Chinana. Chunana. Yeah. Absolute Chunana. I love that. that was uh, what do we do about the Crows forward line? Because Fogarty's showing he's not the number one. Fire it into the sun. Like, <laughs> we need Thriller. They need Thriller. Yeah, Thill Thorpe. Uh, Thrill Thorpe. He'll him be being out is like Will this weird this sort of though? underplayed aspect of this year. Like He gives him another mobile tall early, like yeah. in the front line. Yeah. And you're like, ah, oh, that's a big hole now that Tex has cooked and like – Fog is fine. Well, that, right? I think Tex kicking all those goals last year sort of patched but, up a few of their other that's worries. What in the ball a few line. of us, okay, yeah. me and Jim said yeah. at the start of the year, that yeah. Tex so can't false do it. Dawn. You can't keep doing yeah. that when you're like yeah. one million to years old. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, how are the two fan bases feeling out of this? Adelaide, you're like, well, that sucked. Yeah. Our season's over. Their they're season's cool. de- they're done. On yeah. social media, like in the under the game, rap, like, oh, we lost, blah, blah. It's just like fire Matthew Nix, Mark Rusciuto, and whoever our list manager is into the sun. What's Mark Rusciuto do there? He's like the head of football. Oh, also, what he also the, smashes tins. Yeah. What about the game? Adelaide yeah. Crows fans booing Will Haywood because he's like, oh, because he didn't go to Adelaide because he resigned <laughs> at the Swans. I actually love that. That's I love that. Fun. That's pretty. That's, just, that's, that's just being a good fan. It's, it's, like, it's like, what you don't like us? Boo! <laughs> Boo that man! Yeah. We hate you so much now that you didn't choose us, you idiot. <laughs> and he's like, that's why I didn't go there. Yeah. Uh, uh, Swans fans are like, is great. Can we actually start a game well though? Yeah, you, yeah, that's the only way. Swans, but then you're still still Swans fans are just actually like, we're untouchable. Yeah. They are the best it's, team in the last 30 years. It's pretty fun. That's why Alex's head just walks it's around like so this. Much fun. <laughs> Sunday. My team doesn't suck. <laughs> Clarko. Speaking of sucking. Oh, Clarko, Ruse, 118, the Pies, 119. 
Hey, stats boy, take us through this game. I went uh, home a three quarter time. We were up by 30. We, we won, right? I thought you hung yourself we, we, in the third, oh, third tier. It wasn't that bad. I came in here and had a few tins, but it wasn't that bad. No, first half, unbelievable unbelievable from North. Uh, 86 points. Alex wrote down here. I'm pretty sure this is correct as well. High score of the year, and that was a half time. There was just goals galore. They looked horrible. I'm proud uh, of you. That's great. It was your best first quarter in five years as well. Best first quarter, 49 points in the first quarter, 86 points at half time. I thought we were untouchable. And then we absolutely, uh, I was going to uh, swear, they crapped the bed. Uh, yeah. No good at all. Wardlaw was amazing. That was probably his best game. He's he stamped himself as the rising star now. I don't think anyone can uh, disagree with that one. His odds were already way uh, in the, to the heavy favourites. Go he was unbelievable. Now. I'll get into that for my best on ground of the week. So that's a little bit of a teaser there. Bobby Hill was awesome. He he was the difference in the last quarter. He kicked three goals. No, no, no. There was one person who was the difference. And then Alex, you can touch on uh, the uh, the green uh, the green people that might have cost North the game. Well, in a few I don't ways. know. There was okay. But, that's two things. I've but got North were up by we're up by fifty four points. <clears throat> uh, as a North fan, I'm not going to blame the umps. We're up by fifty four points. You should never lose a game when you're up by about six goals. We were up by a lot more than that. So what was still very $2. sad. Very sad times. By the way, yeah. And I was yeah. I think, yeah, all the North fans around us were all going, we're going to win and getting into all the Collingwood fans. And then they just turned around and looked at us going, uh, not yet, not yet, we haven't. So, so no good being a North fan. A lot of talk from a bad team. Yeah. yeah, one point it ended up being, and I was absolutely gutted. A couple of things out of this. Yeah. First of all, <laughs> Jack Crisp kicks a goal in the first quarter that was clearly touched. The arc looked at it, saw those touch, went, yeah, what the hell was that? It's fine. It clearly it's went. goal. If all the Collingwood fans around me were just laughing. Yeah. Everyone's just like, that's that's been touched. And they're just like, no, nah, it's fine. Goal. What's the point he of the review system? One. Yeah. <laughs> was also kind of important given it's a one-point game. Um, <sighs> secondly, uh, Clarko deciding oh, to yeah, take, off, talk about that. take off Will oh. Phillips, who had been giving Nick Dacos an Can absolute I, yeah, bath. talk about that? So you had Phillips, who had 11 touches. Sorry, not Phillips. Dacos had 11 touches at halftime. Phillips was all over him. Phillips had been tagging a lot in the VFL. They're like, oh, we'll put him on Dacos. Great call, Clarko. You've finally done something right. He subs him off. All right, fine. He's Three quarter off. time. He puts the slowest guy, arguably in the AFL, in Liam Shields, who's about 57 years old, onto Dacos, who's the best player in the comp. And Dacos tears no, no, up. No, 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 no. Take that best player in the comp business. Nick back, Dacos is the best player in the comp. I will always say that. Harley Reid the <laughs> No, but that is Isaac Heaney. That cost us the game. Da Cripps, Dacos killed it. Them, Dacos Errol killed it. Second half. I am absolutely filthy with Clarko. Get out of my club. Okay, and then finally. Jed Walter is the best player. <laughs> <in the world. laughs> How Jed Walter snuck in here? Because Jed Walter has to get at least Finally, one Finally, a few umpire decisions as well at the end. So was... I'm a neutral in this, and I thought stats guy would be very fired up. I like that you think of yourself as a neutral. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, in this is, game, I am. He is in this game. I, I'm not fired up because we shouldn't lose with 54 point, but it was clearly 50 metres. That was the one that So got. you had the 50 metre that Bailey oh. Scott should have got with 40 seconds to go because McCreary and side bottom were like, no, nah, nah, they we went 10 metres over the man of the mark. They attack the guy. It's yeah. basically oh. a self. It's literally <laughs> it a few, it's literally a fifty meter by every definition humanly. Well, he's got what had a shot right yeah. in front. Probably that is absolutely absurd. And it's like fifteen paid. meters out. This is a goal. You win the game. So oh, oh he wouldn't kick up. Bailey Scott was going to kick the goal from fifteen meters yeah, out. Sure. Then you had there was a Nick Dacos when he got tackled. There was oh. a, definitely an incorrect disposal, but it's fine. Then you go back to a 50 meter penalty that Nick Dacos got in the third quarter that whoever was throwing the ball back was in the action of throwing the yeah, ball back to Dacos. Called a 50 meter penalty. Dacos kicks a goal. I'm not saying that uh, North Melbourne were robbed, <laughs> but North Melbourne were robbed given the free kick count was 24 to 14. Whoa. Also, shout out to Aiden Core for shooting stars Bo McCreary into the next year. That was so that was cool. He sent him about 50 yeah. meters. See ya. It was <laughs> amazing. The Collingwood fans were building the house for that. So that was Zerha, wasn't it? No, no, it was Core. Oh, Core. Aiden Core. Aiden Core is just running back. He just sent Because if it had been Zerha, I'm like, I finally like Zerha. <laughs> well, Zerha finally had a, a really good game. That was yep. his best game in the last couple of years. So that was pretty promising. If anyone says to me that Darcy Moore's an all-Australian defender, put your head in a toilet. He was you horrible, are wrong. Yeah. Yeah. He was Super anyway. kicked four goals in the first quarter and North lost by a point. And uh, Jaff getting the full body cramp was pretty funny. Can we get Suva to kick? Goals after a specific point. So it's they put weird. Frampton he had five at yeah. a point last week. Didn't kick any in the yeah. last quarter. Cost him the kicked game. four in the first quarter. Well, the first we genuinely week, didn't really else. kick it to him after. But that's like also because the matchup was, was pretty good. Yeah. Marco, you stink. Uh, yeah. Two fan bases. How they're feeling, stats boy. Honestly, at, uh, straight after the game, I was gutted. But thinking about it, at least we've we've scored our biggest score in a two and a half. Like other than that Gold Coast game in about two and a half versus. years. I love that. That's yeah. a great. Great sort of positive outlook. But I, we, we at least kicked the score. No, we at least kicked the score. We look good against a really good team in Collingwood. As I've talked about time positive and time again. Positive loss. Positive loss. Honourable loss. I don't yeah. think this is an honourable loss, though, because you've <laughs> coughed up such leads. So my, this is my question to Stats Guy yeah, and right. North fans for anyone who's 
listening, watching. Yeah. Would you rather this? You've led by 54 points and got run down. Or would you rather be 10 goals down and run Collingwood down to a goal? Get beaten by a goal, but uh, charge home. Oh, no, you'd rather be in front. You'd it, rather be in front. Because it yeah. at least shows you that, oh, we can actually get supremacy over a yeah, good team. But I from, agree. And and w- literally in a year's time, if we're in that same scenario, we shouldn't lose that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that for me, it's like you had all the hope. Anyway, like, yeah, and you, you, it. you don't lose Our that young guys, game. North fans are very excited. Collingwood, just relief that you've won and they're somehow third. Pies fans are just sitting there going, they will have the worst, yeah. just biggest, dumbest Cheshire grin with like the fewest teeth oh. in the world <laughs> after a stupid win in a game they should have lost. They're third. And they're third it's on the crazy, ladder. crazy. They're stoked. They don't know how to feel this, but they're feeling great. They're happy. Jeez. Oh, hey, then there's also the final game of the round. Uh, go, uh, Greater Western Sydney against Port Adelaide at the showground. 73-51. Yeah. This game sucked. There was a lot of good games this weekend. This was not one of them. Port have these games. Like, it was 9-19 to 6-15. Do they know how to play football at times? You're just like, what is, this is gross. You stink. Stop being bad. Quit it. God, you <laughs> make me angry. 51 points in a game is ugly. But also Port, 34 behinds. It's just Ugh. brutal. 9 goals, goals, 19 to 6 goals, 15. What are you it doing? Wasn't even wet, was it? it wasn't right. A bit of sprinkles around, but yeah, nothing. Yeah. Uh, but what we saw essentially was like Finn Callahan was great. I thought they didn't send Dan Houston out of this one. I'll tell you that much. He yeah. had thirty-five touches. That's yeah. the opposite of what you do to Port Adelaide. They still won though. Yeah. So good yep. job by the Giants. Lucky Whitfield found some form. Tom Green. Yeah, I guess you could say I'm back. He had thirty. Uh, Twenty handballs though. Too, a bit of a weird one. So yeah. the super coach. Oh, that's because of the handballs. Still not yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, Josh Kelly. This is the thing. GWS is literally all about structure. Mm-hmm. Josh Kelly comes back. You have Buckley come back as well, right? Yeah. We said that'd help him. So much better straight away just by having that extra level of class. Toby kicking one five didn't help. Yeah. That'll be that'll probably basically revert back to the mean though. He'll kick like eight he's goals. He's been off this year in terms of his high standards. Yeah. It's because he's a new dad. He's tired. Yeah, he's tired. It's the new dad. Cor- you should. Usually know that. You said Cripper new dad was power, superpowers. You have superpowers. But he, but he had the kid earlier. Okay. Exactly. He was earlier in the season. Toby Green left it too late. It just it cooks your season. <laughs> okay. So Paddy Cripps had it like. Round one or two, wasn't it? Just, but no, just gather round. Oh, yeah, it was gather round, yeah. So he got away for that first week while it was just terrible. Absolutely horrifying. That first week is the worst. You're like, what? This has just ruined my life. (laughs) I've made a horrible decision. (laughs) What do we do? Oh, God. This, however, is just them going, Toby Green, do you need a – can we hire you a nanny? Like, what are you doing (laughs) here, mate? This is not great. But this sort of still came about by their forward line, like Hogan, Green, Riccardi, not – Crushing Not it. Kill. It's like yeah, they got a lot of marks, but missed a lot of everybody goals. Everybody yep. sort of contributed a little bit. They all kicked like one. Exactly. Which they all handy. kicked like one goal, two, That's or handy. one goal, three. Except yeah, for Callum goal, Brown, five. two goals. So, JWS, this should be a stepping stone. As we said, they're fifth on the ladder now. You've got to be feeling okay about it. Port. It's sliding. It's just. It's sliding. It's not quite cooked territory yet. You're still in the eight, but they're eight goals, five. They've lost their last two on the trot. They play Brisbane next week. It is looking very dire. They the beat power. Brisbane by 70 points in round one last year. Yeah. Remember that? We're like, wait, what? Wait, they, is and it, then that, by the end of the year, that result made sense. Is next week in Adelaide? Yes, it's in Adelaide. Okay, that's yeah. a really tough tip then. <laughs> it's not. You is tip it? Port at home. Oh. Is it? Is it really? What? Oh, oh okay. No. I'll, I'll have to think about that one. I got a week. Brisbane actually played pretty well against them there last year, didn't they? No, they didn't. They got smashed by. I literally just said oh, they got beat no, by that's seventy right. points. And then, we, then Brisbane turned <laughs> around and were awesome, like within three yes. weeks' time. Yeah. Yes, yep. It's a weird one. So if you're a fan of either of these teams, GWS, you are. You just need more out of their offense. GWS, you're relieved that yeah. you won, and then you're need like, more out of their offense. Ah, oh, we're gonna get smashed next week. Mm. And then Port, oh, you're very worried. Ken Inkley should be worried about his job. That's every year for Ken Inkley, but yeah. No. They actually had a really funny banner as well about uh, Ken Inkley. They were getting into uh, yeah. saying he, he, they should, he should keep his job and all that, but it was a bit of a back end. because you know, he's Ken enough. Ken, it's, Ken off, yeah. Yeah, Ken it was from, a Barbie, uh, Barbie reference, reference stats guy. Yeah, I forgot Is that he up. Ken enough? <laughs> no one knows. Yeah. <laughs> Not even he, I think. Yeah, it's uh, a game. Did it's too good. Yeah. Both teams are on fraud watch, and both teams are yeah. also, well, could I'm, they make a prelim? I'm now it's concerned ridiculous. about GWS, uh, not GWS, Port Adelaide kicking a score. I yeah. don't think they can. you got to kick more than 51. That's horrible. Nice one. All right, tipping results yes. four oh, for me, way. stats boy. Five. I only got uh, the fr- tip three. That was the only one I got wrong, I think. Alex? Four. Nice one. Full credit to the boys. Who is the best team of the round? It was obviously the best team we've seen in the last 30 years, the Sydney Swans. They beat... Um, what's it called? I don't think they should be. They played. They good, beat sixteenth or whatever. Adelaide but they are. played five good minutes of footy and won by forty two yeah, points. They spotted yeah, them. But a is that the best lead. team of the round? Uh, again, I don't know. And they just go ah, oh, 
Are they enough ahead? All right, let's so, turn it on. Do you think that the Where slow starts of the Swans is these teams that are below them going, we have to come out breathing fire for Maybe, everything, yeah. and the Swans just withstand that? You mean every team they play? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. just they're all below them. And just withstand everything that's thrown at them and go, okay, that's enough, bye. Yep. No one is touching this team. No, I agree with that. Yep. All year. I the think the one loss season. is Port Adelaide in Adelaide. No one's touching them. Still, you should incredible. still win that, though. Like the but then, but there's, there's that loss that comes. Like Collingwood last year lost to Hawthorne about a month ago. There is a yeah. switch that they flick. They're, yeah. At their best, no one is – like even Carlton at their absolute best when they have like these little runs where they're – If they're like, a bunch hey, of their here's best. here's eight yeah. goals on your head. It's like that's still not as good as Sydney. Sydney, 10, yeah. Sydney like, that's cute. He's 14. Like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> come on, man. Like we saw the Blues just come completely short up against them the other day. And Sydney just went, cute, fun. You think mm. you play footy? Check this out. No one comes anywhere near close to what the Sydney Swans can do right now. Fair They're enough. the best team, yep. at least since the 2000 Bombers. Well, <laughs> no one's stopping them. That was a pretty good turn. Stats guy. Oh, you guys are both going Swans. So yeah. I'm going to, uh, can I go North's first half? Just North, North's first this is half. I'll allow it. Because you did, uh, I think you did Carlton the other way. I was ready to say North if they North won. first half, 86 points, unbelievable, but definitely not the best team. I do this all the time in NBA yeah. It's like a player's first <laughs> half and then another <laughs> player's second half. That's uh, the but so North's first two and a half quarters, I'll give Two and a half quarters, yeah. But uh, I'm going to really go the Bulldogs. I tipped uh, Freo. I think a lot of people did in yep. a lot of my competitions. Because Freo have just been in better form. They won by 62 points. Were unbelievable. A lot of depth players. Riley West in his 50th kick four. God, just a lot of depth players uh, not relying on... I know Bont was amazing, but they didn't rely on him to kick that yes, one. Yes, they did. Nine. He had 30 and three. No, but then Ed Richards just stepped up to be one of their best. they just got a lot of guys stepping up, which I'm excited for the dogs. So they're the best team of the round for me. I'll pay that. They were very, very, very good. Yeah, they were yep. awesome. What happens next week, though? They've got, the probably, they got the oh, bye. Oh, they got the bye. Yeah. <laughs> the Can you after. lose a bye? Actually, they play. <laughs> they, they play us north uh, the week after. So there you go. But so basically, they'll just look at next week as oh well, this week That's is the, the week we lose. So, so then they'll they'll smash win. north. Yeah. We'll lose in practice, and they'll demolish the ruse. <laughs> but then, who do they play the week after that? Because <laughs> That's when they probably lose. Oh, nice one. Uh, good job. <laughs> Thanks. Best on ground of the week. Who was the best player we saw? Very clearly, Stats Boys calling him the Mike, calling him the Michael Jordan out of nowhere because <laughs> apparently he's like. Two years old and can't get comparisons. Oh, right. come on. I, but Bont was incredible. Like, oh, he was a bit sick. He's like, yeah, call he it didn't train all But not for me. Like, <laughs> yes. That's how he was. It was awesome. Uh, 30 touches, three goals. What was it? it was a lot like, of score involvements. I'm not sure how many. Seven clearances. That's just yeah. absurd. He was three goal assists as well. Like the handball that he had mm. to uh, like early on as well to get the goal out of that. It's just, he was incredible. Uh, goal that of the was year a nomination, game probably. Where you just like, yeah, that's how one footballer can control and dominate a yeah. entire game of Aussie Rules footy. Yep. You don't see that often. That was one of them. That's was three awesome. votes. M. Bontempelli. Definitely. M. Bontempelli. <laughs> Away we go. Uh, Stats boy. Talking about three votes. Georgie Wardlaw, the warlord, he was unbelievable. He, he had this game... Pro- Definitely even in the last quarter, Sheasel dropped off in the last quarter, but even Wardlaw didn't. He was doing chase down tackles. Wardlaw was the only yeah. one who could get a possession for he you would, guys. That was, oh, LDU was amazing as no, well. No, in the yeah. last quarter. Oh, last quarter, There was yeah. a point of the last yeah. quarter where LDU had had one touch, mm-hmm. Sheasel one touch, someone yeah, else zero that touches, was a worry, yeah. and Wardlaw Wardlaw's was on like five. Six, yeah, five. So he's had 30 disposals, a goal, and 10 score involvements. The best game, uh, I think, in, yeah, in his career yeah. so far. Pencils him for pencils him in for rising star and uh, he's gonna have a three vote so game. I reckon. Even in a loss. diverting his pay to sports bet this week. Well, to take I reckon he's gonna be. No, I've been better than this. So he's two dollars twenty five. You think he's unbeatable? Two dollars twenty five is value. That's all right. Yeah, money where you he is unbeatable well, unless man. he gets injured or reported. <laughs> yeah, true. Well, actually, where's it? <laughs> Touch wood. That Alex, there was a guy who kicked nine goals this week. Yeah, Joel Marty. He kicked nine goals. Is he the best player of the week? Can we do it? Yeah. Amadi party. Yeah, Amadi party. Amadi party. Amadi party. <laughs> it was amazing. We should have got little hats actually for the Amadi party. <laughs> Where we go? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Amadi party. And I'll throw in Brody Grundy as well, setting it all up. He Thirty-one touches crazy. as a ruckman with forty-nine hitouts. What I didn't appreciate was the amount of people going, oh, "Marty's like a really horrible footballer, and he's kicked nine. Is he the worst player who's ever kicked nine goals?" I'm like, "No, he's really good. It's Can just like they've been the entire time that he's been good. Seven. He kicked seven. Yeah. The entire time that he's been good." Like, they've also had a really balanced forward line. He's been an understudy yeah. to one that lands Exactly, Franklin. and he's been, yeah. like, learning the gear. It was his 40th Lance, game. Exactly. exactly. It's all so, good. also, can we just shout out one of our bosses here, Charles, after Amadi kicks his second, I was up and about because he's a Swans fan too, texting back and forth. Going, that was weird by How Charles, good's yeah. Amadi party? He's like, yeah, I'm really not excited by him. I don't really rate him. Kick seven kick, more goals. Yeah, kick seven after like, Charles How said do you that. feel now, Charles? He's got like, that. got to kick ten. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> shut up, you Kiwi. I've had that. <laughs> Nice one. That was funny. Marty and Grundy, good stuff. Bont, Wardlaw, had some really good performances this week. Yeah. Nice. Old mate, no mates. 
Joel and Marty. <laughs> so Marty he's stuck into every segment. He's like hanging out going, hey, can I kick 10? And John Longmore's like, no. no take. You can still rotate. No, you can't. This so, goes into my old mate, no mates, which is John Longmore <laughs> for taking a Marty off. The bloke's kick got 10, 10 mate. minutes to kick a goal to kick 10. The game was done. I know. Just like Sam Wicks, get off the bloody field. No Leave a Marty in the goal screen. Sam Wicks. Yeah. So we, we love you. Don't get us wrong. We, we love, love your you, Wicks. Uh, I don't Wicks, like him. But like, jump, jump on our but, show. It's fine. But. Yes, we get rotations, but when a guy's got a chance to kick 10 with 10 minutes to go in a game It doesn't happen in modern footy very often. Just leave him in the goal square. 13! He's got to kick 13. (sighs) Marty party. So that's what, he's my old mate no mates because he's literally standing on the interchange bench with the other guys going, what the hell was that? (laughs) Why am I off? But if you heard heard his interview after the game, he's very, very Very humble. He's like, it's great that I kicked nine, the team comes first, this and that. Whereas, you know... Be- After a few beers later that night, yeah. I was like, I should have kicked ten. No, in, in the uh, meeting on, on Monday, Longmire should go, probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> a, yeah, for a bloke who's He's old like, school. Like, I think... Well, Longmire's, Longmire's kicked bags of nine. Like, yeah, no, no he's bags. kicked ten for North. He was an unbelievable He's forward, like, kicked, yeah. like, at least double figures yeah. plenty of times. Should mm. should have had a bit of love for a power forward. He's like my second or third cousin as well, I reckon, Horse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, really? Uh, yeah. Oh, I thought you were just joking. Either way, uh, weapon. Stats boy, old uh, man, no man. Uh, yeah, this is someone Alex uh, brought up before. The wizard, or whatever we're calling him. No, uh, Nick, uh, what is it? Nick can't kick. Nick can't kick, that's what it was. Nick can't kick, Watson. He uh, finished with one goal, four. Just needs to finish his dinner. He missed a goal when the crowd was getting into his, all the Tigers fans. He turns to the crowd and then like tries to shush. You just missed a goal. <laughs> you never shush or get into the crowd unless you've done something good. You kick one goal, four. I genuinely think, people are saying he's overrated. The fact that he's getting five shots on goal, I think he had about 13, 14 disposals. He's going to be a good player. Just needs to finish his uh, kicking. He's kicked five goals, 15 Five goals, this year. 15. You, you don't have any right to get into the crowd. As a young player who hasn't proven himself yet, his so nickname mate, should no be mates. the Muggle. Yeah. The what mug- are we doing? Yeah, I, I have a question. Cool. Who will be more disliked in twelve months' time? Him or the Wizard or Ginevan? I think I think the Wizard's already taken over because Ginevan hasn't done no, anything. Ginevan got booed every time he touched the yeah. ball. Oh, so. did he? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Like, it's, it's also, and it's also like, he's a young kid, but it's also you've got the nickname the Wizard. And you can't kick straight. Like kick it's got to be the muggle. It's simple as this. The we, you don't have to, it's not rocket surgery sometimes. It's the muggle. I love Nick that. the muggle yeah. wizard. Yeah. Well, sounds like, oh, he's a kid. Stop yelling at him. He's like, he's playing a professional sport. Don't care. <laughs> Why I can't stand Thursday night footy. Oh, he's brought up Thursday night footy somehow. <laughs> Do you know how angry I was? So it was sad we, we hit on this the other day, like earlier in the show. I was where, so uh, bored. Uh, <laughs> Alex has pointed out we have overlap again. And not only do we have overlap, but we have overlap in the stupidest positions mm. where it's like early Saturday afternoon games starting at the exact same time, et cetera, stuff like yep. that. And the f- more we get into this season, so this is round 14, the first one we've had with our Thursday night football, <sighs> it's a very obvious just giant hole that the AFL have dug for themselves yeah. for no apparent reason yep. beyond their own idiotic navel-gazing purposes of like <laughs> we can't be – Bothered? Question mark. Know, like, right? It's yeah. basically it. They're just like, oh, we don't have enough good games. They're just like, this is your league. Yep. You should be pumping up everything. So in two weeks when the buys are over, so this is the first round it's out overlap. of buys, round yeah, 16, yeah. Saturday, 1.45 p.m., North Melbourne and the Western Bulldogs play at Marvel. At the exact same time, the Sydney Swans will play Freeman. That's a good game. Yeah. So that night, Adelaide- it's not Bull- a, That's not even- So that's the point. The exact same time. You can't even stagger these no. so we can watch- the first quarter, halftime, yeah. jump over some other stuff. At the exact same time is absolutely asinine at, and completely absurd. And at 4.30, you got Gold Coast and Collingwood, great game, up up there. Uh, Adelaide and GWS play each other at 7.30. At the same time, Melbourne take on Geelong. Uh, no, sorry, Essendon take on Geelong at the same time, Two good games. The worst one comes on August the 3rd, where Carlton and Collingwood yep. play at the MCG. Two biggest teams, probably. At the exact same time at the Adelaide Oval, where there is a half an hour time delay, I'm led to believe, from spending some time there, <laughs> the Sydney Swans and Port Adelaide will play each other. Oh, they are two massive games. What are we doing? <laughs> this is why I can't stand just Thursday night. Just fix it it's up. It's not hard. You've ex- you've actually figured it out. You've got the entire broadcast vibe. Everyone loves it. Oh, and that Everybody week. Everybody is going to go to it. Hold on. Minutes. That week as well, that August uh, 2nd, 3rd, 4th weekend, August the 2nd, two Friday night games. Oh, I hate two Friday night games. You could easily dumb. just go, oh, well, maybe we should just have one of those on Thursday. Away we go. And then what? one on Monday. I... No, I'm not. I'm Why still I can't I'm not. stand. I'm going to <laughs> okay. be getting to this point where you dig this little hint bit deeper and you go, 
Does Andrew Dillon know what he's doing? But it's, is, it, is no. it him that's doing it or is it like Laura Kane and her crew? But it feels sure, very yeah. much like under Gill's watch, it felt like there was a very officious professional never vibe about of most night, of what yeah. they were doing and they kind of went, you know, if we're onto a good thing, we're going to try our hardest to stick with it. They tr- Like this is it. The entire last few years have been like kicking the ball around on Thursday night footy, trying to figure out what works best. Mm. It works. Just go with it. Yep. NRL – as brains trusty as that entire league they might still seem, Thursday, yeah. cool. they understand. You know what our idiot supporters love? <laughs> Footy. When do they love it? As much as we can give it to them. Yep. When's that? Thursdays. <laughs> like, it's not rocket surgery, idiots. Just put it on Thursday nights. I don't want to have to get, like, I'm obviously going to have to keep yelling about it. It's not going to change, unfortunately. But at the same time, yep. I feel like we're not even giving it as much attention as we ought to. <laughs> it's stupid that it's not on. It is, it it is, is so dumb. absurd. Yeah. Yep. Fair call. Hey, Alex, what can't you stand? <laughs> Umpire's not doing their job. Oh, High 50 oh, metres. Yeah, Come on. yeah. I yelled about it already North in the game. North Melbourne game, but honestly, <laughs> like, it's this This one was for the crew, like, uh, umpire should put the whistle away. It's like, no. they got to do their job This still, comes yeah. back to when they called Rankin for running too far. They did their job. Yep, yep. Tick. Today, they did they it. They actually did put the whistle away in the whole, like, last five and minutes. Oh. It's their job to adjudicate the rules of Australian football. Yep. And they did not do so. Just do your job. Yep. Please. Please ask nicely. I ask a lot. <laughs> uh, stats boy, what can't you stand? Oh, this is one you uh, like as well, Jim, uh, as a Carlton supporter. Well, I can't so, stand it. Can't so. stand it. Yeah, sorry, that's what I meant. Yeah, why I can't stand. Venues saying it's a sellout and people missing out on tickets. I was at the North Collingwood game today. I know for a fact there was North and Collingwood supporters that missed out on tickets. They don't want to go standing room because standing room, you can hardly see anything, especially at Marvel. Can't really see anything. There is so many seats. 38,000 was the uh, official attendance when Marvel Stadium holds 55,000 and it was said it was close to a sad and you could only get standing room tickets. That is a joke. I know that a lot of North members wouldn't have turned up. That's happened the last couple of years because we are very crap. That that's <laughs> that is true. But there's got to be a better way. We were at Gather Round, uh, and there was people at the front selling tickets, knowing where there was seats. Gather Round ruled. Gather Round was just great. Adelaide Oval knew what they were doing. Marvel MCG is the ones I go to. They do not know how to, how to fill a crowd. Even games at the MCG when it literally holds 100, 110,000 people. You should be able to sell more tickets, and there should there needs to be a better way of doing it. So that's yeah. why I can't stand it. <clears throat> On top of that, I want to kind of refute the uh, look. I love the dust. The dusty game was insane. Yeah. The vibe was yeah. incredible. Uh, but I think what they say officially ninety two, and you it don't think it was that did much? not quite. There Ooh. was still too many big swedges of seats yeah. for my liking of emptiness. To you like ninety two. Like I get the people are getting food and at the bar, but at the same time, at the very start or halfway through a first quarter, I think you're done <laughs> with your bar. Yeah, food trips and like people are in there, and it's just like there's not that. Mm, so a bit, but it was very packed. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, it felt like probably edging to ninety. But yeah, maybe not weird. ninety-two. Yeah, weird. and also this week, Carlton Geelong is absolute chaos, and you just can't get tickets for love or money. Yeah, and it won't, it won't be upgrade, more than upgrade ninety. a member seat. You're like, yeah. I don't want to sit in like the nose, but yeah. I'll just stay at home. It's it like won't ridiculous. be more than eighty-eight, ninety. I don't think. But for for a wrong, thing that holds a hundred. And more, twelve, was yeah, it some, 100, 100,012 people, whatever the yeah. official number yeah, 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 is. I like, come what, on, yeah, we just want to watch the. Got to be better than that. All right, good week of footy though. Super coach Wash. Well, hey, did you put the VC on your Zorko? I put on Heaney, who got the exa- exact same score. I got put my captain on in the end. Now you made uh, Jim uh, also sort of screwed that because I had it on VC on the Zorko all it. week and then took it off. Oh. Uh, well, I didn't take it off. I reversed all my trades and redid it and forgot to put the VC back on Zorko. Uh, then chucked it on Sarong, who has a great track oh. record against the Dogs. Didn't nice. really live up to it. No. And then Dacos saved me at the end. So. I had my VC on Bont with my captain on Grundy. And when Bont got 162, the captaincy went on someone who wasn't playing. Nice. Wow. Just, Both of them would have been fine as I, well. Yeah, I, just, I was just like, 162. Like, I was did Grundy even outscore him? Yeah. I think he got 154. 154, pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, nice one. Yeah. Uh, does anyone have a Marty? I think it was yeah, like, so I, put I, in there. I what did a thing this morning, 492 people. Oh, really? So people, actually, people actually have because like I put that in there. What did he get? Entire you? family and <laughs> done. Oh, one eighty-two. I tell you, what, I considered picking him in draft this week because I needed a player. I picked Papley instead. Oh, what did Papley get? Uh, so like seventy. Tom yeah. Green continues to disappoint. The eighty. Sheezer was very good. One twenty. Uh, outside of that, my man Nick Vlaston popped off. <laughs> Wait, did he? Uh, no yeah, he's back. He repaid the he's faith. Back. He repaid the faith. I came this close to trading him out. I was very sorry. Hey, I bought that. in Wardlaw. He got 122. Exactly. Nice. Not bad. Either way, it was a crazy Supercoach week. You can check out the official AFL Supercoach podcast for all that gear. But that is it for the AFL Today show for today. 
for this week for round 14, of course. It is in the bag. We'll never talk about this one again, will we, Stats Boy? Nope. Your team, 54-point <laughs> lead. Blown. Uh, I, I went home at three-quarter time. We won. Sure. Made it. All right. Thank you to Alex. Thanks, Jim. Thank you to the Stats Boy. Thank you. Uh, for jumping on and hanging out on a Sunday night. Always. Have fun next week. Oh, yeah. Hang no, second. Alex. Wait, I'm not here next week either. It's just the Stats Boy show. No, I swear this. I'm here. I was yeah. going to say, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll honestly, be, I'm happy with that. It'll be I'll a be, show. I'll be at uh, <laughs> NG. NG oh, Stadium. Sorry. There will be a couple of weeks where I'm away, though. Yeah. Can't wait. Noosa. <laughs> Smashing tins. <laughs> all right. Uh, remember to smash tins and also a <laughs> like across all the socials to see us do lots of fun stuff. Uh, what is it? YouTube, Facey, Instagram, TikTok, X. And you can check out all the other shows as well that we have. The Cricket Today podcast right in the throes of the T20 World Cup. Yes, the Aussies. The boys are doing a very good job at the moment. Football Today show as well. Football Today podcast, should I say. Euros. Uh, you have the Euros yeah. popping off right now. Oh, too. Yeah. Should we just do some flashes in front of the camera, just like the Scotland fans? <laughs> yeah. What do you reckon? Oh, no, thanks. Well, Did you bring your kilt? Did bring, I do. I, I England kilt, are playing yeah. tonight, so we'll see I'm how that goes. Tartan. No, I don't have a kilt, though. Yeah. So go figure that out. <laughs> NBA Australia, though, that is a great, great, great show at the moment because we have NBA finals. We're going to oh, game I'm sweating five, on Tuesday. Yeah. Game five preview Got my tomorrow. Celtics jumper on, actually. Wrapping up game four, which is absolute chaos. So, and hold all tickets for all your horsies. Big weekend we Big had. Big weekend. Yes. Uh, subscribe, Star, and like all of those shows across all your podcast apps as well. Get around them like Diesel Williams. Just get around a couple of handballs. Yes. Just get 40 handballs in a game. <laughs> you love that. Or you can get around it like, I don't know, Josh Giddy getting around a few party pies in the box on Saturday. Oh, That was fun. D- deleted a few pies. Did he? Yeah, no, He's a big man. He's a big man. Yeah, it's like when you're that tall, you're using a lot of energy. So. Yeah. A lot of calories. All right, we'll catch you later this week. We'll be back for the Midweek Madness Show on Wednesday for more AFL today. Until then, remember, look after yourselves and footies back. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.